Hi everyone, it's Melanie and welcome back to Living Luxuriously for Less. There are so many amazing Buffalo Chick themed items throughout stores like Big Lots, The Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, Kirkland's, Target, Walmart, you name it they have it. And I recently did a haul showcasing a few items that I actually picked up at the Dollar Tree in order to do this rustic country chic buffalo plaid themed Christmas party. And I just absolutely love it. I love it in fashion. I love it in design. It is extremely, extremely popular this year. And I definitely wanted to design our Christmas event using aspects of the Buffalo Check theme. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I put the event together from start to finish, how I did the tablescape, um, how I designed the tables, and a lot of tips and tricks along the way. So let's hop right in. So the first thing first is that you want to make sure your tablecloth is pressed and free of wrinkles. Um, I like to set up my event a few days in advance so that the extra wrinkles that maybe um, got caught in like folding and things like that, that they will actually fall out by the time of the event. And you can also use a great hand steamer to steam those wrinkles out. But for the most part, you want them to be free of wrinkles. And also you want your tablecloth to hit on all four sides. And so I will leave a link down below that will show you the steamer that I use as well as the tablecloths that I use. These black polyester tablecloths are great for like events in your home or in your church or if you're starting your event planning business. It's a great starter tablecloth because you can easily add runners like the Buffalo Check runner that you see me um, with here. The next thing you want to do is place all of your chargers and you want to use the thumb rule when placing your chargers on the table. Um, Very Carrie taught us about this several years ago and I absolutely love using this technique because it keeps everything looking nice and fresh and uniform. Now I am using um, the Comfort and Joy plates um, and Tis the Season plates that were at the Dollar Tree and um, I am mixing those. So I'm using like a, a red plate in between that. So and then I'm putting the buffalo check napkins down. And then I'm also mixing the buffalo check and the black napkins together. So uh, to give it just a little bit of a uh, different design. For the centerpiece, I'm using a Christmas wreath. Uh, this is a very full and lush and natural looking Christmas wreath. And then on the center of that, I'm using uh, the votives, the uh, hurricane... I guess these are like more of your hurricane votives. They're longer. I'm using three different sizes. You can find uh, the 9-inch one and a 7-inch one and a 5-inch one at the Dollar Tree. Uh, but I'm using the taller ones. You can find those uh, at the link down in the description box below at eFavorMart. And so I love using those along with floating candles. Again, everything I'm using to design this tablescape, I will leave down in the description box below. So now that that is all finished, um, the next thing that I'm going to do is using this three set of napkins. Uh, it has like the, the knife, the fork, and the um, spoon. And, and the actual napkin at the Dollar Tree. And I just thought this was really great for disposable dishware and things like that. And you can actually reuse the plastic ones if you want to. You can wash and reuse them. But I just thought they were really great to add to the design as well. As far as the deck, the hall plates, I use those over on the um, drink table in order to capture any liquids. And then for the food or buffet setup, this is how it's all set up. Many of you guys have asked me how um, I set up my buffet. And as you can see there, I use the to hold the chips and then I had the three tier stands for like crackers and things like that and on the end it was like the space for crock pots but it turned out absolutely gorgeous in the back I have a camper backdrop that I borrowed from my dear friend and photographer Keelan Walker photography so on the longer tables we decided to allow mother nature to provide us with her beautiful resources 
that God created. And um, we use the fresh greenery and pine along the tables. And actually, I will have to give credit to one of my new interns. Her name is Adelie. She put those together for me because I was actually traveling. And the wine glasses that you see are from the Dollar Tree as well. As you can see, I mixed the Buffalo Plaid um, chargers in with the tis the season chargers from the dollar tree and if you can't find those be sure to check out dollartree.com and i will put my full haul video link in this video so that you guys can watch that full haul now as you can see i kind of alternated between the black napkins and the buffalo check napkins and the little lanterns that you see here with the red candles in the center were from hobby lobby i think they were 4.99 with 50 percent off which i thought was an amazing price for those lanterns and just adding those in was absolutely stunning wanted you guys to see the disposable cutlery and napkin also from the Dollar Tree and the comfort and joy that's in the center of those um, actual chargers. Now if you don't want to hide the comfort and joy I recommend it using the clear plates from the Dollar Tree as well and I just think that they add so much to the table but yet you're not you know taken away from the uh, comfort and joy symbol that or wording that is in the middle of, or motif that's in the middle of the charger. So here is the middle estate table. Absolutely fabulous. I told her I wanted the greenery all lush. I wanted it like all over the table, but not in the plate. And I promise you, she did exactly what I had envisioned. Um, the Shivari chairs I actually found on sale. Um, it was an amazing deal. My friend, um, and I went in and split them and they were really, really inexpensive. So I just think Shavari chairs really add a lot to the space. But if Shavari chairs are not in your budget, you can definitely use black chair covers. And I will link those down below as well. So I'm just going to give you guys another overview of the space with a little Christmas music for your enjoyment. you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed the tips and tricks that I shared along the way. 
I wish you all of the peace, all of the comfort, and all of the joy this holiday season. I hope you guys have enjoyed this content. Be sure to leave your favorite aspect of what I shared with you guys today down in the comments below. If you're not already a member of the Lux for Less family, I'd love to formally invite you to be a part. If you enjoy this content, be sure to click the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell. Until next time, it's Melanie with Living Luxuriously for Less. Cheers!